Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties melted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins. Well, that looks like fun. Well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends. I welcome you back to the channel and to what is the first video of the first playthrough here on the channel. Not theoretically the first, I did try the same thing with Skyrim a long while ago, but this is going to be the first full complete walkthrough here in this channel. This is, if you don't already know, Kingdom Come Deliverance. It is a game that I've been dying to try, and I got it free on Epic Games Store a few months ago, and so I figured what a better way to actually try this game than to record it and share my experience with you guys. So without further ado, let's launch Kingdom Come Deliverance. Normal mode because I have not played this game before so I don't even know if I'm gonna be successful. So let's go. Warhorse. Let's see. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which had flourished under the late Emperor Charles IV, but now, with his son Wenzenslas the Heidel on the Bohemian throne, was following in his reign. I wonder how much of this is actual historical fact, because I, I don't know a lot about the period, but I will most definitely research it and see the basis for this game. Damn, this is beautiful, look at that! Oh my god! This is beautiful, this, this is why I love video games! Look at that! Oh my god! I did a presentation for French, telling how video games are and should be considered a form of art. I should have included this game. I really should have. This is beautiful. Props to War Horse Games. Like, really, really props. I don't know how big of a studio they are. I actually don't know a lot about them. Jesus Christ, this, this looks great. The environments look great. Look at a fancy night. So, I don't know a lot about this game. Uh, I only saw walkthroughs for like the first act until the, the big shock at the, at the, at the beginning. 
I'm sure you guys already know what it is. I'm not gonna tell it. But I always stop there because I always figure I wanna play this game for myself, so. So I really, really stopped. Uh, right at the beginning. So I'll try not to speak much during cutscenes, so well, I'll husband, see you guys in a bit. How goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Mm. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. <laughs> Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Good smack around the head. Just barge in the room. That's how my mother wakes me. <laughs> Just opens up the door and enters screaming. Henry! Oh, get up now. So motherly, There's so work lovely. To be done. <sighs> get up or I'll come get you up, you slug of bed. Hear that? <laughs> You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Hmm, well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. <laughs> now get up, you rogue. Okay. A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Okay, tutorial. Character. By means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you'll select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can, further, can be further developed without limitations. Okay, so we have four characteristics. Speech, agility and vitality. We were chatting in the tavern, that's speech. I was dancing. Agility, I was with Bianca, Vitality, I was working in the Forge Strength. So, I know that this game's combat is quite tricky and actually quite a challenge to to overcome. Uh, so I'm thinking that maybe speech will be a good option to save me some trouble in the runtime of things. So I'm gonna go because I was working in the forge will not work because the forge is right next to the house and my father and my mother would know if he was actually in the forge. So he was not in the forge. The only ones that would really make up for a good story would be this ones. I think I'm gonna go with speech for mm, now. Nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um, well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me, and it's connected with that scratch on your hand, and that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Hmm. Why would I be interested in sword fighting? Matthias was teaching me archery. I was with Bianca. What does it matter? Okay. I'm not gonna say why would I be interested in cho in sword fighting like I am not, because it's clearly that he is. And the archery thing with Matthias... Well, you wouldn't really get hurt that way with archery, I think. And this is not a good option to tell to your mother. So, I don't know, maybe I'm going to go with Vitality. 
Yeah, let's go with Vitality. Let's see how I it was with Bianca. Do you want a blow-by-blow -blow account of everything we did? <laughs> What's this, an interrogation? All right, all right. Sorry, son. It's just that I worry about you. Thanks, Ma, but I'm not four years old. I know, Hal. You've grown up in front of my eyes. It's hard to get used to it. Ah. Okay. Just... Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Well, from what I know, your friends are actually drunk. So, okay, it's... Okay. Not this again. Leave it lie, Mother. Okay. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. All right, thank you. Is Father angry with me for sleeping late? No. He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Sir Radzik. He's not as Ooh. young as he was. Forging. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Okay, just you need me to do anything, Ma. Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Okay. End dialogue. Here we go. Ah, yes. Whew. This is great. Ah. Alright, so. I'm supposed to be hungry, so... Okay. To eat any food, pick it up. In the inventory, in the tab, food, select what you want to eat, and then eating by holding E. Okay. Oh, there's there's the icon there. On the... On the right side of the bar. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh, no. I kind of didn't want to sit down. Get up. Okay. I don't want to sit down. I want the soup. I want the bread roll. Little known fact about me. If you ever saw me play Skyrim, you'll know that I have a tendency to pick whatever isn't nailed down. That is going to be a fun thing on this on this playthrough. Okay, eat from the pot. Okay, I think I'm not hungry anymore. So, let's go. Do I have anything here? Nails for Teresa, bandage, marigold the co the coction and savior snaps. This is the drink that uh, allows us to save, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I'll not take anything. We'll just move along. Outside. Ah, what a beautiful day. Hello, mother. Ah, there's the forge. Lego. Whee! I can jump. Morning, sir. Come here, I need your help. Oh, certainly, sir. At here least I am. you're up. That's a start. <laughs> yes. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? Not drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure I'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassel. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. 
I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. Yes, sir. All right, so, where should we go? You can find all information about the quests in the log. For clarity, they're also indicated on the map, as well as on the compass at the top of the screen. Okay, so this is the quest log here. Oh, wow. Oh, this is fun. I'll have to read this in proper detail later. Nice. Alright, so I think we can go there. This is probably gonna be the cross guard. Given that we're approaching the big ass castle in, in town, I'm sure it'll be it. Good morning, lads. Jaros Jaroslav and Yannick. Yaroslav and Yannick, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll be with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and pommel. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Ah. If it if it depends on me, you won't pay anything. Okay, let's go see the other the other options, the other objectives we have. <laughs> oh, one of them is you. Ah, here you are, Kunesh. I'll be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? Okay, father, father sent me, me for the money. The coin you are in for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. <laughs> you know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. Oh, wow. Persuasion. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. You can simply use speech, which, however, is influenced by the reputation you have at that moment with the person you're talking to. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount, so the quality of your attire and how well-groomed you are, together with your reputation, can make a big difference to how people will respond to you. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength and the deterrent effect of your, weapon, of your weapons and equipment. But other things are also taken into account, such as bloodstains on your clothes. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you, you just have to agree on a persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping. In special cases, you can try any other skill, i.e. example, horsemanship. It's not only the matter of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer, because sometimes it's not enough just to choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to really read what's, what you're going to say. Oof. Okay, this is a lot. So basically, yeah, so it's not just the stats that matter, it's a myriad of other things. Okay, so let's try this out. You can expect a visit from father, debts must be paid, that's a speech option, 
pay you drunk out. Okay, so I don't know if this is going to work. My speech is way too low. This will probably spiral into a fight. And this will probably just result in him calling me a bloody coward and not pay at all. And I'll have to get my money another way. So, let's try the fight. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore. I failed. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Yeah. Oh, boy. Hey. Oh, 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 God. Unarmed combat. Left hook. Right jab. F kicks. Tab locks on opponent. Left ship unlocks and Q blocks. Oh my. This this is gonna be fun. <laughs> But oh my god <laughs> oh god how is he grabbing me oh my no nope. oh god this you had it coming you cup your old man can fuck off too. Watch out! One beating wasn't enough for you. But you still owe my father. You'll get nothing from me. Tell that to your old man. I'm telling you, lay one finger on me and I'll have you thrown in jail. Oh, you son of a gun. Ugh. All right. I'll try and find another way. Jesus Christ. God be with you. Okay, I don't have money, so can I sell you anything? I'm wearing all of these, so I guess that's a no. This won't fetch for that good of a price. Okay, so this is the price that it'll fetch me. So I'll get six coins for for the cheese. I get now can I buy the charcoal I need? And be done with it? Okay. I think we can close the deal. Oh, sorry. Can we do something about I meant. <laughs> Naturally. Okay. We'll see about that. Oh boy. Okay. We all got haggling down. Let's see. Can I get two coins for that? Is this enough? A nice sum. Just lower your demands a little and we'll agree. Okay. I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Boom. Okay, so I really didn't want to steal. So... Yeah. Should I get the hey, sword lesson? Do you want to learn something? No. I don't uh, think no. so. No, I'm sorry, but... I've already roughed up enough. So... Oh, <laughs> insulting our king. What insult? I say only okay. the truth. Sigismund Exposition has done all me what he had to. 
had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope. God be with you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Kutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he, Fritz? You too, I, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. <sighs> Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But, doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for her father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. Man, not really. So, how? Are you with us? Nope. <laughs> yep. Not that I don't want to teach the Deutsche a lesson, but I really don't have time. Well, that's disappointing. Still, we can manage without you. Let's go, lads. Honestly, hell. How could you pass a chance like this? I'm already banged up enough. I don't need to lose more. Hello. Okay, I need to follow you inside. Or will you not talk to me because... Oh, okay. God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. Oh, what brings you here? It is love, because with this mug... <laughs> beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honoured as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? A face only a mother can love. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. <laughs> oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. How? 
I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favourite, savoury your schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Aha! Kinky. So this is the saving drink, I, I think. Come on to poison our livestock. Have you no oh. sense at all? Come home and stop disgracing us. But I said hardly anything. Shut up and come with me. Good help to you, Henry. <laughs> we can see who wears the trousers at home. <laughs> oh well. I'm not really gonna mess with you, so let's go home. I think I need to see my mother and get patched up. <laughs> ah, Jesus, look at the screen. Blood's everywhere. Ma! Ma! Oh. Ma! Ah! Ma! I... It hurts. It won't stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. <laughs> there you are, good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. Oh, that was so funny. Can I wash my face? I appear to be a little dirty. I don't know, is there a way I can wash my face in here? <laughs> it doesn't look like it, so... <sighs> I think I got everything from my father, so... About time. Have you got everything I wanted? Oh, so I need to do the sword fighting lesson. I'm going to be honest and see how it goes. Actually, there's one thing I forgot. Just give me a moment. Get a move on. We have to finish the sword today. Oh, so I really do have to go to the sword fighting lesson. I was hoping I could avoid it. But we'll get to that in the next video. I'm going to stop here because we are around the clock already. Wait, can I save the game without the savior snaps? Well, apparently I can. Okay. So the game is saved. So... Uh, <laughs> maybe... Waste? Ah, okay, so it still uses... It still uses the... The, the savior snaps. Alright, so it still uses the savior snaps. Okay, so, the game's saved, we'll stop around here, next next time we'll go to that sword fighting lesson, we really need to, and we'll see where it gets us from there. So I'll see you guys then, thank you so much for watching, and bye bye.